And welcome back to CNC Sports. We're here at the 15th Annual Black College Football Hall of Fame Enshrinement. On behalf of Javon Diller out of Miller Grove High School, he is our Student Athletic Scholar Award winner. And standing beside me, I have one of his coaches. Coach T, as they call him, the offensive coordinator, the man that led to all of those stats that you're about to hear about and helped cultivate the development of Javon Diller. Coach T, welcome to the show. Thank you, thank you. All right, so offensive coordinator, what was it like coaching a guy like Javon? Like how many years was he with you? Was that his senior year, two, three years, or what? He was with us for two years, um, his junior and senior year. Okay. Junior year, he just bought in our plan. And right. We told him, ultimately, once you buy in, we're going to get you where you need to go. So he did it in the classroom, in the weight room, in the community, on the field. He just took it together and, and, and really, 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 show his talent what 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 stood out you know you have a lot of guys wide out good skill sets or whatever but what 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 made him so special for miller grove high school and for you as a coach to say hey you know this is a receiver that we can lean on this can be our go-to guy no doubt That's, he's six two and he's a physical specimen mm -hmm. so he utilized his strength and his speed to really really just catch the ball and get upfield and that's what we teach catch tuck and score and that's what he does so going through the drills or whatnot you were able to see that he had more of the qualities of soft hands not hard hands uh how was he uh able to do as a leader uh what type of leader was he out there for you on the on the field he wasn't the most vocalist person in the world mm -hmm. but he led by example his actions every day every single day if he was late he apologized for being late, but we tell him all the time, it's, it's all, as long as you communicate. So as he's leading by example with his actions, I told him everything else is going to work out for itself. So basically he was the guy that when it was on the line, you knew if you could trust anyone, no matter what it was, you can go to Javon Dillon. I can call his number at any time. <laughs> That's good to know. Now, assistant coach, let's speak on your head coach now, Coach Melvin Brown. Uh, to have a coach to give you the autonomy to – call your plays and trust what you're going to do. What what does that mean to you, and how does that motivate you to want to deliver more by having that autonomy? No doubt. Coach Brown, I've known him for 15-plus years, and um, coached with him in the past before he got this head coaching opportunity. Mm -hmm. He's First off, he's an amazing person, mm -hmm. amazing husband, amazing father, amazing teacher, and I wanted to model myself after him. Mm -hmm. So after growing up and him helping me grow in this profession of coaching high school football, it was the thing that he that, that separated everything was trust. He trusted in me to put the ball in these the playmakers' hands and not only just talk to him and preach some football, but just teach him about life. And that's what he did for me. So I was always taught to let it trickle down to other people. Mm -hmm. And speaking of life, you know, uh, convey some of the wisdom or knowledge you all give to your overall team about the importance of education, the value that it has while being a student athlete. We always tell them the higher you go in this game, the lower opportunities you get. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, we always let them know that one day you're going to have to clock in and clock out. Mm -hmm. One day you're not going to be able to put on the helmet and the cleats. So you have to be ready because one day you'll be a father, one day you'll be a husband, one day you're going to have to provide a roof. And that's what Coach Brown teaches more than football. That one day you're going to have to clock in and clock out. So it's our job to help you get ready. Well, there you heard it from assistant coach, Coach T, offensive coordinator of Miller Grove High School, the one that helped develop and cultivate the one student athletic scholar we have, Javon Diller. Thanks for coming out. Thank you so much. All right.